Good evening. Tonight, The Advocates looks at a question which raises both civil rights and moral issues. Specifically, our question is, should homosexuals be permitted to marry? Advocate Franklin Kameny says yes. Our homosexual American citizens are the last minority group in our society whose right even to have rights is frequently not, deni not recognized. With me tonight to argue for one of those rights of considerable real and symbolic importance is Elaine Noble, a gay woman, an instructor at Emerson College in Boston, and Dr. Richard Green of the Department of Psychiatry of UCLA. Advocate Tobias Simon says no. We are prepared to treat the homosexual relationship the same way we would treat a man's mistress. We would not punish her for adultery, but we will not legitimize her with marriage. Toleration, not encouragement, is society's maximum obligation to the homosexual. With me tonight are Professor Robin Smith and Dr. Charles Socarides. Thank you, gentlemen. Our program originates tonight from the Village Theater on the University of California campus at Irvine, and we're pleased to be here. We're also pleased to welcome Franklin Kameny to The Advocates. Dr. Kameny is an astronomer by training, a longtime gay activist, and serves on the board of directors of the National Gay Task Force and the Washington, D.C. chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union. Opposing Dr. Kameny is Tobias Simon. Mr. Simon, who makes his second appearance on The Advocates, is an experienced civil rights lawyer currently practicing in Miami, Florida. We'll be back to both of you gentlemen shortly for, just your, for your cases in a moment, but first, a word of background on tonight's question. Approximately 15 million Americans, men and women, are homosexuals. For much of our history, they have been a silent and powerless minority, stigmatized by law and custom. But in the last few years, this has been changing. Eight states have repealed statutes which punish the sexual conduct of homosexuals and 10 American cities have already passed laws prohibiting discrimination in housing, employment, and public accommodations. Such bills are presently before the City Council of New York and elsewhere. While it would be far from accurate to say that homosexuals have won the battle for equal treatment under the laws of most state and municipal jurisdictions, tonight we go to what may be the ultimate test of our society's willingness to accept homosexuals as simply another minority group in our population, marriage. Marriage between homosexuals is already the subject of court suits in Minnesota, Kentucky, and Washington. 